What is happening YouTube? It's your boy TechTrex back with another video and today we're gonna show you how you can have different lights, different color lights, LED lights for your fog lights. Here we go. First and foremost, what we're looking at here is just a set of fog lights, LED fog lights for H11s. For my Mazda 3, as you guys already know, I've been uh, unboxing a few of these lights here and there. Before we get there, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Check out my merch, 1130 Lightweight Apparel. Make sure to uh, hit that notification bell and share it to your friends. Hopefully, I can uh, help you guys out here to make your car look fancy and spectacular. Here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and uh, I'm gonna show you how to install it today as well. So let's go ahead and do that. There you go. That's an easy. There you go. Stick that out. You should get the remote out as well. Just take this out of the way. This is a very cheap device as well, so as you can see made in China but that doesn't mean that the quality is bad it just shows how how cheap it is and everyone can afford it so you can have your magic light look at that so you can see let's see if they gave us uh, they gave us a battery I guess not they didn't give us any batteries all right but let's look at the remote you guys can see there Red, green, you can blend your lights all together. You can turn it on and off, lower the brightness. You can flash it, strobe, fade, smooth. As you can see there are lots of options. We're gonna check it all out and try it all out if it does work. I'm gonna have to grab some myself some battery. Let's look at the lights now. Look at that. It looks fairly cheap. But you can't judge the book by its cover, right? You have to um, test it out first and let's see how bad it looks and how bright it is as well. As you can see there. Not too bad, not bad looking at all. There you go, let's go ahead and install it. And here we go, we are on our garage now. This is our Master 3 2016. And this is the fog lights I've installed for quite some time now serves me pretty well this is a pretty cheap fog light so when i got my massa 3 it's pretty cheap so it didn't have any fog lights i installed this myself so i know how the ins and outs of this first and foremost what we need is a screwdriver the screws inside is a phillip head but for the outside to take off this this covering you'll need a flat head so let's go ahead and grab that. You can go ahead and use a multi-driver as well where you can change the bits in and out. So you can have a flat head or a Phillips head or whatever head uh, it comes with. As you can see here, we're just prying it out. Make sure to follow my instructions just in case you have no idea how it goes. Basically, you just pry it out and it's just uh, pressure mounted. I used to use this film that goes over your fog lights so that you can have different colors, but I'm taking it out because we don't need that anymore because we will have our own customized lights from our LED lights. These fog lights comes with three screws as you could see there because we are in Canada and it's winter here or summer and all that stuff. Everything, all my screws got all rusted. So basically all you have to do is uh, take off the three screws and then uh, you'll be able to take off the fog lights. In this case, after you take it out, you'll be able to twist off the fog lights off the actual vessel. But in my case, this is very old and it's not working anymore. So I was able to just wiggle it out and take it off. Once it's off, now you'll be able to just uh, press the connection and then pull out the old fog lights now in this case we're gonna have to install the new one and make sure it's installed the right way 
however you saw it before make sure to install it the exact same way now let's go ahead and turn on our car turn on our lights so that we can try it out as you could see there it starts to change as i use the remote in this case you're gonna have to point to the bulb itself it's not a very good signal to be honest you have to literally point at it as if you're using your tv you have to point at the tv so that you can control the bulb but in this case uh, everything works well all the buttons on the remote um, was able to function to what it needed to be so that's pretty cool now you can go ahead and install the exact same thing on the other side and also go ahead and uh, install the fog lights back to how you found it with the three screws uh, twisting it on just like how i'm doing here and then in, you can go ahead and use the three screws to screw it on after that you'll be able to put the covering back the way it is and making sure that the one side comes in first and then the long side comes in after let's go back to our desk now and i'm going to show you some breakdown of the remote and also how to change the battery basically all this we were able to test it out and everything works uh, the battery you need is a cr2025 basically you just pull it out i've already installed it inside and it just uh, sits there just like that and then all you do is just put it back the way how you pulled it out make sure to not install it the wrong way that's all well that's it for the day guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video of us installing the fog lights for our mazda 3 2016 fog lights that you can change lights and all that stuff so it's pretty cool make sure to share this to your friends if your friends have a master 3 and you want to pimp it out like i did then you can go ahead and uh, share this to your friends make sure to comment below what i can improve on hit the like button subscribe to my channel check out my merch uh, lightweight apparel see you guys next time and stay grateful peace yeah.